guys and welcome back to my channel. So, today is Tuesday. I forgot to record yesterday. I apologize. It's been, this week's a little stressful. But it's week two of semester two in the summer. I think the fact that we like got no time off is starting to kill me because I have like no inspiration or like no motivation to do anything which considering it's the start of the semester is kind of concerning um i i'm kind of worrying i'm gonna like burn out by the end of the semester um but i've got like a few little things planned a group of us are like maybe going away for a weekend to a lake district and you know stuff like that so hopefully that'll re-motivate me get me i have no i have no spark that's 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 the thing. I have no spark at the moment. Hopefully, I, I don't know. I need to get that back. But anyway, um, yeah, semester two. I'm taking um, professional development, because I have to, um, paleopathology and grave concerns, which is like funerary archaeology stuff, um, this semester, which are like my two like interest things. And we've got to like come up with a dissertation title in the next like four weeks, which is wildly stressful. We had, um, yesterday we had a lecture where all the professors and the researchers and everyone who can supervise a dissertation in our like, field was like presenting like projects they're working on that we could work on, um, just like general what their interest area is that so we can like try and match up with the right people and stuff. So obviously that means everyone's like emailing now, um, which means I've got to be emailing now, which like I was kind of emailing some people before, but now it's like, gotta get on it because everyone's like tying down their supervisors, um, which is, yeah, it's kind of stressful. I was chatting with one professor who, so I want to do my dissertation looking at like, individuals with disabilities in Roman or Roman British populations, specifically looking at the bioarchaeology of care, so the kind of care that those individuals would have required and would have been given by society. Um, so that obviously means like finding an individual with a disability that for some period of time, a disability or illness that for some period of time would have required care from a third party. So. Yeah, I want to do that. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. But I was emailing her and she was like, we might be able to work something out. And I was like, okay, cool. But if that fails, there's another professor doing uh, research on archives in Scotland and looking at how Scottish traditions and folklore impact pregnancy and childbirth or medicine and health. And I was like, that sounds interesting. I'm not like specifically interested in like Scotland necessarily. I'm like a classicist. I like to stay in that, but it's like, you know, it's still interesting stuff. And I do like the idea of looking, it's also looking at um, like childhood abuse and trauma and stuff like that, uh, punishment, things like that in children. So I was like, all of that sounds really interesting. And then the Scottish, like I can apply that to other things as well. But yeah, so I've emailed her as well. That's kind of like my backup. Maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know what I want to do. It's like, it's like the race is on to like shut your dissertation and I just like I'm still unsure of what I even can do like what's feasible um but yeah I might have a meeting on Friday about the disability one um we'll see I'll keep you guys updated that that's like this whole week is just like stressing about all of that um but yeah we'll see hopefully it all works out Hopefully I get my motivation back once I like figure out what my dissertation is going to be on because I'm really interested in paleopathology and grave concerns. I'm just like not in the right headspace to be interested if that makes sense. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. That's my intro update for this week. <laughs>
Wednesday, I decided to re-dye my hair because it was a little patchy and I cut it. <laughs> well, I cut it way too short. Um, well, not way too short, like an inch too short. But when you've got short hair, an inch is, is way too short. Uh, it'll, it'll grow back eventually. So I got an email back from the second professor. I emailed the one who's doing the archival Scottish thing on traditions of folklore and how they impact different things. Um, yeah, she like sent me a really detailed email back, which I was like grateful for, but at the same time I'm like, not my dream project. But, like, it's still very interesting. I'm still excited about it. But it's, like, I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to see if I get a response from the other, your other one. If we set up a meeting for Friday before I email her back. Because, um, like, I'm not sure. I feel like if I, if I you know, give her all, because she's looking for, like, how much experience I have, am I willing to travel, to do all this, yada, 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 and I'm like, I feel like if I email her back, I'm not, like, I'm kind of tying myself to that, or I'm, like, getting her expectations up that I've, like, tied myself to this project, so, uh, I was gonna wait and see what happens with the other thing first, uh, before I get back to her. I, uh, had a grave concerns class today, it's really interesting, we were discussing, like, what constitutes death in different societies, different cultures, We're talking about cannibalism for a while, which is really interesting, um, like some cultures see it as like, oh, you cannibalize your enemies, as sign of disrespect, some see it as like, the earth is cold, so you, you know, you don't want your family members going in the earth, and basically cannibalize them instead. Even, like, Western societies back in the Victorian era would eat people as, like, a form of medicine. Uh, all this interesting stuff. Someone brought up the point. They were like, I wonder what vegetarians and vegans think of cannibalism because, like, depending on the society, it's, like, a consensual, like, known part of, like, this is what happens after you die <laughs> kind of thing, uh, which was interesting. We were discussing, like, different things about death and funerary rituals and exposure of children to death and how that, like, impacts how people view death and, like, all of this stuff. I got inspired to start a podcast about just death and dead things, <laughs> which, I don't know, I might do it, I might not. I, I get, like, podcast or you know, YouTube series or book inspiration out like the weirdest things sometimes. I'd book inspiration right ago to write um like short stories based on skeletal remains. So like, you know, find out all the information you can about a set of skeletal remains in the lab and then write a short story. Like a fictionalized short story but based off the non fiction of like what we estimate this individual's life was like. I don't know. <laughs> Weird thoughts that come to me when you study death and dead things. But yeah, that's my day. I've, I've been watching Star Trek Next Generation too. <laughs> that's my episode update. <laughs>
Saturday. <laughs> some 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 things have gone down. <laughs> not I'm making that out to be like dramatic. Not dramatic. Um yeah, I went out on I'm trying to do the math. Thursday, um I went to like a plant shop and so I went shopping with some friends and stuff and then someone wanted to one of the girls so some of the girls in our class are from like different areas of europe austria croatia all that anyway they want to watch the football and uh, so we went to a bar and watched the football match and then um yesterday we had a lab and then after the lab we're planning on maybe going away for like a long weekend or something somewhere because we didn't get a break um so we were like discussing that planning that we've like kind of got it down but we just need to see like if the accommodation we want is like still available and stuff like that but yeah yeah that's it so that's exciting and then uh, we were watching the england versus scotland game uh we were like uh, none of us were like watching it like deeply into the football so we were like um match is on we should watch it order some takeaway you know hang out it was fun it was cool but the like more exciting part of all of this is after my lab I had a meeting with the person I want to do my dissertation and the person I want to be my supervisor and she's basically saying yeah we've figured it all out um I just need to like pick a site but she recommended one for me to do but she's not going to be my main supervisor she's going to be my co-supervisor and then she was like but I've contacted so and so and she's going to be your main supervisor and I was like okay great so like it's basically all figured out now so I'm happy I just I need to pick a site still but like that's fine I might just go with the one she recommended but I'll like look into some others and then she was like you can also pick a site that we don't have if I can get into the collection um which like with COVID and everything might not be possible but yeah I have my dissertation like pretty much set on doing the bioarchaeology of care in Roman British population, or like of a Roman British population of a site. Um, I, obviously the title is not like exactly set, but like what I'm doing is fairly like set. I've got my two supervisors. I'm pumped to do this. It's going to be fun. It's going to be like more theoretical than like physical which like I don't mind because I'm more theoretical than scientific anyway so that's all G it's all G in the in the <laughs> but yeah I'm just like I'm so excited I have it set I know who's gonna be my supervisor there's still like a few little things I need to like sort out but I can like basically start filling in the form I need to fill in to submit for whatever but yeah, I'm like, the rest that needs to be figured out can be figured out later. But, like, I'm like, I'm basically set. And I'm so excited. And I, like, kind of can't wait now to start on that. Obviously, that's, like, still three months away or whatever. But still, exciting. Um, any other news? Any other news? I got all my grades back. Um... I've gotten, so far I've gotten distinctions in both my classes, so that's fine. Uh, it's perfect. Actually, grand. I uh, thought it was going to, maybe not fail, but I thought it was going to like barely pass um, my exam and my skeletal report, but I actually did fairly well in them. Don't know how, not questioning it, just accepting it, <laughs> but yeah, so that's that. Um... I don't have anything else planned. I'm just like taking the weekend off. I'm just, I'm tired. I'm so tired all the time. It probably doesn't help that I keep like staying up till 6 a.m. and the sun's rising and the birds are tweeting and it's pissing me off. But yeah, that's my update. Um, do I have anything else? Do I have anything else? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Didn't buy a new plant in the plant shop. Are you proud of me? I almost bought a string of hearts though. So. And a snake plant. But I didn't. I stopped myself. You proud of me? I'm proud of me. Anyway, I'm gonna go watch some Star Trek. <laughs> That's me. Hyped about my dissertation. Ah, it's set. Mm. Yes. Hi, guys. 
back again for the end of vlog clip what I don't know <laughs> um yeah I don't know what else to say nothing much happened since my last check-in uh, I stayed at home all weekend I I messed up severely though on Saturday night because <laughs> so I've been going to sleep at like 4 a.m. recently I know terrible and I try and get to bed earlier on the nights I have classes so like I try and get to bed around like 2 or 3 when I have a 10 a.m. class um, but I'm like I can't keep doing like the 4 like it's just it's not helping I mean I'm already like drained anyway like I said in my last vlog because of the whole like just not having a break between semesters thing um, so I'm like really drained from that anyway um, and I'm like the whole my sleep cycle is not helping and the fact that the sun is coming up here at like 4 a.m. not helping either um, so yeah on Saturday night it got to like half four and I was like you know what I'm just gonna stay up I'm just gonna stay up all night because the sun's already blaring outside I get like three hours of darkness here <laughs> the sun's already blaring outside I'm just gonna stay up I'm just gonna stay up and then I'm gonna like reboot my sleep cycle, go to sleep early tomorrow night, everything will be grand. It was not grand, I took a five hour nap between like seven, between no, between 12 and seven, I took like a five hour nap and then I was back to my 4 a.m. sleep cycle again. Hey, and then on Monday, I, um, I, I like basically, was asleep throughout my entire lecture. I mean, I had it on, but I was like, I kept like coming in and out. I fell asleep completely. I fell asleep during that class. Like, let's record it and I am gonna rewatch it, but I, yeah, I need to fix my sleep cycle and that is all over the place. But yeah, that's that. Um, I'm getting my tattoos next week, so that's gonna be a vlog. But that vlog's gonna be the week after because I have to post a video next week on the day I'm getting my tattoo and then I'll, you know and then the week after that I'm going away to the Lake District with some friends we got this cute little Airbnb cottage and yeah she's gonna be great I'm so tired <laughs> apparently there's like no or like highly defective Wi-Fi um so yeah, luckily we've only got one class while we're there, but I'm fairly sure it's going to be like one person has the class on, on their laptop, and we're all just sitting around, and the teacher's going to be like, why? Be like, hey, you know, you wanted us to be friends. It's your fault we're not here. But yeah, that's, that's it. Not that much. Did they really? Uh, glad I got my whole dissertation thing sorted. I emailed the, like my main, because I haven't actually spoken to my main supervisor. Like, this is all arranged by my now secondary supervisor. And so I emailed her on Friday to be like, yo, heard you're my main supervisor. Stoked to be working with you. Much more professionally <laughs> stated than that. Um, and she hasn't emailed me back yet. But apparently she's like horrific at getting back in emails. I've got a lecture tomorrow for her class, but someone else is guest lecturing. But she's probably gonna be there, so I'm gonna see if I can like grab her after on Zoom and be like, yo, hi, it's me. <laughs> Don't know if you know, but I'm your um, supervisee for the dissertation. Kinda wanna talk through some stuff with you because I need to know things. We had a lecture yesterday about, uh, we had to fill out like a brief or like a plan for our dissertation, like our aims and objectives, uh, health and safety and ethical uh, things, because I'm working with human remains, so obviously I need to fill out like an ethics brief or whatever. And then I also like funding and stuff. Um, the university will fund our dissertations to like a certain amount, depending on what we're doing. Um, but I need to tell them like, I'm gonna need this equipment and that equipment that we don't have in the lab, but I don't think I'm gonna need a lot of equipment. Uh, I think the only thing I'm gonna maybe do depends on how many we already have for the collection I'm using, but taking x-rays might be the only thing, which is like, I'm stoked about that. Go learn how to take x-rays. That's cool. But yeah, it's the only thing at the moment I can think of that is gonna cost anything. 
um, and probably not a lot because we've already got all the extra equipment and stuff um, and it's all digital now so yeah I don't know x-rays are cool <laughs> but yeah we'll see we'll see that's a whole end of semester thing it's not due till the end of the semester but I have a presentation that is basically that before then it's a whole thing it's a, everything's just a whole thing <laughs> But yeah, I'm just glad to have like my dissertation topic basically sorted. Um, yeah, still need to pick a site, but that's fine. I can talk through that with her. My the other supervisor recommended one, um, so I might just go with that one. We'll see. Um, yeah, dissertation shit getting serious. Even though I don't have to start my dissertation till September. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Okay, sorry. I'm just like in a weird, like, deliriously tired head state <laughs> at the moment. I gotta stop going to bed at 4 I went to bed at 5 a.m. last night. I'm failing at being. And then I tried to wake up early to, like, shock my system so I'd go to bed late, and then I just ended up sleeping through my alarm. I didn't have classes today, so it was fine, but still. I don't know, I'm just like failing this semester already and it's a week three. Anywho, I will see you guys in my next video. Or hopefully, I will not be as delirious. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Ugh.